Chasing business and career prospects in a new country often means leaving behind some of the wonderful traditions of home. But not for one group of Aussies in Hong Kong. When they say they've moved offshore, they really mean it. Founding a Young Lifesavers group now enjoying its second year of success. It's a Sunday ritual for many Australian families. It's no different for this group, except this beach is around 5,000 kilometres from home. I think it's important for the kids to be engaged in, you know, in Australia we all grow up in barefoot, you know, we go down the beach and, and we do the simple things and I think that was one of the main reasons we all talked about bringing the kids together to, so they can learn how, you know, how it's, what it is like in Australia. These children represent Nippers Hong Kong. What started with just five Australian families has now become a club, with all keen to be a part of the action. I don't think we expected it to be that popular, but you know, once kids engage in this sort of activities, you know, they enjoy it, and and that's evident of. I think we had a hundred kids, right? Yeah, so, yeah. about a hundred on the list. Yeah, we we thought we thought we'd get twenty or thirty. Yeah. It started off with five families, and now it's you know it's hundred plus kids. And it's not just Aussie kids. We've got a whole bunch of uh, English kids, a couple of Irish kids in there. Not necessarily the strongest swimmers, but we have them anyway. And it's good. Yeah. Goggles on. Try not to kick the hell out of each other while you're swimming. These fathers are the energetic founders of the Nippers Club. As well as a chance to mix with other families, they want these kids to get surf awareness and gain confidence in the water. In a place like Hong Kong, this club is one of a kind. We've all been brought up from a very small age of being exposed to water and, and actually having to, to deal with challenging conditions and Hong Kong you don't kind of get that so much so we kind of thought that we'd put, uh, put this swim program together and make sure that kids are actually treating it as actually a swim club. Go! It's not a daycare centre, it's not a, a, you know, a, a, a child mining thing, it's a proper swim club and we're trying to encourage that with the kids. The club is modelled on the Australian nippers with beach sprints, board races and ocean swims. The waves may not be as large here, but the competition is just as tough as any club at home. I won the run, swim, run and the boards. Yeah, I came second in the run and then second in the run, swim, run. I like the run because it challenges your fitness and it's what I'm best at. And it's like you get to run all around Hong Kong and see your friends and run with your friends and see them struggle and you win. As well as the competition, the club's aim is to also familiarise these kids with beach safety and get them up to speed on a century-old Australian tradition. Water safety is paramount, especially for Australian kids, as much as reading, writing and arithmetic. And so it's really important we get them in the water, get them confident, and get them confident to the point where possibly they could, you know, in some, you know, in some situation be able to look after somebody else as well. And that's, you know, that's the pitch. Nippers is a great opportunity and I really like it because you can learn how to be a lifesaver and save others and also yourself. The summer conditions here in Hong Kong often mean sporadic heavy showers, searing heat and 80% plus humidity. And the state of the water can also pose a few challenges. Because we're in Hong Kong and you wouldn't really expect this especially after the sewage. Well, water quality around Hong Kong is not always the best. It's not certainly as good as Australian beaches, but we deal with that. Some people a little bit harder than others when it comes to that. That's not proving a deterrent. Now in its second year, Nippers Hong Kong has a waiting list on its membership, and it's now keen to get other clubs in Asia in the competition. Ideally, next year we'd like to sort of put some sort of um, Asian championship together where you know we, we can get, get together as a group and put our best swimmers and best board, board paddlers together and you know give the kids a real different experience and maybe you know maybe we host it around the region and we all we all go around to different beaches and, and see how it goes. But it's not all about exercise and competition. Every meet these kids get a taste of Australia as well. Probably the sausage sizzle at the end because they cook them really well. It fun and after nippers you get sausages. The swelling ranks and club success can be attributed to the strong support it receives from not only the families, but the many sponsors. Hong Kong is home to the largest number of Australian expatriates outside of London, and this club wants all children to experience an Australian tradition and become the next generation of surf lifesavers.
But then Hong Kong's like a small Petri dish where all the different nationalities come together. And something like this is really good because it brings all the different kids together and then they can have a network beyond that. For us as parents, our job is done. You know, we've had the kids, we've paid the mortgage and now we have to just get on with life. So the kids enjoy it. Don't you, lads? Yeah.